Omnibus, 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 omnibus. Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube video. In this video, I will be driving uh, two versions of the Enviro 400MMC. Uh, such add-on just came out um, today, which is the 30th of April, as the time of recording. The published time is probably one day later, because it's in the evening now. I'm recording this in the evening. Right, uh, well, I will be driving two versions, two different versions of the Enviro 400 MMC, which is made by Studio Polygon. Um, as I mean, it's in the same manufacturer in OMZ2 as the uh, Streetlight, which I still haven't done, uh, which I still haven't done any videos on. Um, neither have I done on the Street Deck or the Gemini 3. Um, those are actually released, well, they were released before this one, but I, but I never did them because I'm um, unproductive. Yeah, I'd better do them. Sometimes I just don't, I just can't find uh, exciting enough British maps. Uh, the map I'm driving on is the Cotro version 1.1, I believe. That's 1.1. And I will be driving, the first bus I'm going to drive is the Enviro 400 MMC on the E40D chassis with uh, a Voith gearbox, I think. There's a 10.3 meters and 10.9 meters. And um, with uh, the other, the next one I will be driving will be the Scania one with 11.4 meter body. Um, I will be driving the, the 10.3 meter version, won't I? Or the 10.3. Nine. I'll do ten point nine just to make life a little bit harder. Yep, that one. And um, this video is going to be a little bit more observatory than usual because I would like to observe it and to share my thoughts and comments and commentaries. Right, I'm using a little bit of different multi-camera setup now. It's still the same camera angles, but um, uh, I put an extra light here. Actually, I, I, this light, this light bulbs used to go there. This one down there used to go up there, and I just swapped them. Uh, but then that light didn't used to be there, so that can light my pedals a bit. So you can probably see the shadow behind, and hopefully light up my chin a little bit. I actually wanted to light up the pedal, but if I put it down there, then it will be too shiny for the steering wheel camera. So that's no good. So I, I left it there in the hope that it will light the light up the steering wheel a bit and uh, and my pedals. I'll try not to use any. Uh, I'll, I'll do the white one, and this one. I don't know why it showed the mirrors earlier, but by default, all the all these ones by default ha are equipped with. Uh, camera monitor system which I th I can't remember the manufacturer that made them but the series the product lineup is called mirror eye um, I can't remember the manufacturer of manufacturer of that uh, let me spawn it at the bus station so I'll go uphill first and then downhill uh, I'll do both uh, I'll, d I'll do both uh, Oh, by the way, this video is probably going to be a bit long. Uh, I'll, for each bus, I'll do the whole route out and return because that gives you a, a little bit of an idea of how they perform uphill and downhill. So, I don't think the downhill one is that exciting. But uh, anyway, that is the... Yeah, I did put the correct hot file. Let me see that. Oh, by the way, I, I'm using a different... Um, uh, I'm also using a different uh, microphone and recorder setup than usual. These two, this this combination is a bit more sophisticated. Uh, I also put the uh, flipping hell. I also put the recorder on. Let me put. The, I put the recorder on manual, so I've already, I, I just realised that uh, my talking may be a little bit loud, and I've already peaked it a few times. Um, I talk a little bit loudly because. 
than the you know the signal because the signal to noise ratio is constant. It won't show up the text on the top left, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, just just judge my that's completely pressed. That's the completely unpressed and that break is I don't I won't need that. Um anyway, this one uh is I don't think the ticket machine is working. I tried this earlier, only a little bit. Um, this one has got these two other monitors. I'll show you a little bit inside. I'm not sure about the situation with stops. I've actually never seen this in the game. As I, I just got to drive it. The inside looks like that. Not not much exciting. And that's the upper deck. Um, yeah, this job. I mean, when you play Omzi 2, you're probably it's a bus simulator. You drive omnibuses, so um, you so mostly you're spending time in cab. So yep, yeah, it's got these. They, they call them Mirror Ice. That's the product lineup. I'll be talking about that um, on the way. Um, go back to the driving cab. Uh, right, remember this, um, because, uh, the, the pedals on the Scania are a bit different. Actually, the whole thing is a little bit different on the Scania. Uh, anyway, let me start the engine by pressing E. I keep pressing E, basically. Did I? I think I turned on the indicator. Is my controller connected yet? Yeah. That was a bit cringe. Right, uh, I have some comments on, let me check my gas, that's good, I, I mean, uh, air, but well, close enough. Uh, these are a bit, um, I, I don't really have too much of a strong opinions on them, in fact I don't really have opinions on them. Well, I do a little bit, but I don't normally have opinions on things. Um, I won't be putting myself on a schedule, I'll be driving it as it is. I'll put it myself on the route, of course, and, uh, right, that ticket machine doesn't seem to be working, so I'll be using shortcut on the, at least I don't know how to activate this. It also comes with a different ticket machine, um, so I won't bother with that. Uh, I'll, I'll use a shortcut to give change and tickets. Um, what was I going to say? Yes, uh, I won't put myself on the route here because, you know, the don't want to be tied to the time. Let me just set the destination to the route 18. It's a bit funny, this uh, sort of setup. I prefer having a number pad. It's going to university. Yep. Um, now, for those of you who don't oh, who don't know about this map, it's called Cottrell uh, in the game. And it's actually based on uh, Bath. It's not the exact replica uh, the, of the Route 18 or the U18, or I, I don't think it's numbered 18 in reality. Uh, it's not an exact replica and it's a bit shortened. Uh, let me just get going. You need to hold the brake in order to get into forward. I keep saying forward, I mean drive. Uh, I don't think my recorder is peaking, so that should be alright. See, there's a peaking lamp, but I don't always look at the recorder, so I don't know. Um. I'll talk something about a camera monitor system. Um. Uh, before I talk about the bus. The, uh, the, there are several manufacturers in both uh, buses and lorries uh, that have adopted their camera monitor system. Um, but ADL is so far the only one that I know. I, I may have been missing out on some. ADL is so far the only one I know that does not mount the near side monitor near the A pillar. And um, in their defense, they say that it can, um, uh, 
I need to get into neutral because I need to reverse lead. I won't what? bother touching the keyboard because this is this because it's a bit irritating. Uh, in ADL's defence, they uh, they say they are uh, using my left foot because my right foot is a bit sore. ADL say they re said that, that the reason they do that is because of the glare on the this piece of glass, which I I don't know. Um, and also when I looked up the product of the let me close the door because it's too loud. No, it's not very responsive the game. Uh, I looked up the product of such a uh, system uh, called Mirror Eye on the on the official website, and of course watched some videos. They have they have such thing called night vision, which uh, Mercedes didn't put on their mirror cam. And uh, in Mercedes' defence, uh, they didn't put on. Oh, hang on, that just peaked again. Uh, they didn't put on the. Uh, night vision because if you put on night vision you can't really see the color because uh, technically sensors are color blind if you put on night vision it's basically shining IR which is a color that what well, a wavelength or frequency if you wish that human beings can't see so it will give you a false color um, and the problem with shining IR is that it can disturb certain it can disturb uh, wildlife certain wildlife because some of them can see IR but but that's not the that's not that's that's not quite the concern of uh, omnibuses because there shouldn't be any wildlife living around near anyway but in Mercedes defense they didn't put on night vision because um, because they want the drivers to be able to see uh, when the when the ambulances and such emergency service vehicles come along, they want you to be able to see what color the la the flashing lights are. Because apparently, um, I'm not sure about in other countries, but in in Britain they're supposed to be blue, and I suppose many continental European countries as well. They're supposed to be blue flashing lights, which are the ones for emergency vehicles, and yellow flashing lights would, are used for non-emergency vehicles. So there's that. Um, uh, because the, um, emergency vehicles don't, the, the, when they're when they're operating, when when they're serving the emergency, they always have the blue flashing lights on, but they don't always have the siren on, which is. Um, uh, understandable um, so there's that that's one thing I'm not sure about the version that ADL puts on whether or not those have uh, night vision I mean my camcorders have night vision that I never use because I don't capture that sort of thing I capture things that are I capture things for as aesthetics I just say um, that was a bit of a harsh break I capture things for aesthetics, so I would like things to look like what you would see with your naked eyes. Sort of. Not always, but, you know. But, oh, for flip sake, I was, I was looking for the outside mirror again. Yeah, that's... It takes a bit of learning curve to get used to these. Um, yeah, earlier I was... Just now I was looking for... I was looking at that area. And I thought, hang on, where the hell is the mirror? So I kept looking. Um, anyway, yeah, that's one of the problems that I get with this, but I don't think it's too problematic because let's face it. Um, oh, flipping hell, I hate this lagging thing. Because when it's lagging, I think it's already stopped, so I will apply more brake, and then I realise that it hasn't stopped, so then now I'm stopping on more brake, which is not good. Um, yeah, it, uh, I'm not. I'm not too concerned about the learning curve because let's face it. When you first learned, when you, when you first learn to drive an omnibus, that's a big learning curve. I mean, you just get used to things. So it's not. I don't think it's too big of a problem. Although I do see some uh, learning curves aside. I do see some advantage of having the monitor mounted on the near the A pillar. So that you can see both see that area of the outside and um, whatever's on your 
left hand side um, that but then I also see the benefit of having it mounted on the inside inside the cab is that you don't need to turn your head too much to see the thing so what I think would be a better idea is that they give the option they give operator the option to mount it whether on the inside sorry whether inside a cab or on the a pillar or ideally if i if i am to have this such a system i would rather have it mounted in here and near the a pillar so i get the option of both i mean you don't really need to look through that area anyway but if you mount it there it's going it's not going to go there because of the door so you can only go there um so there's that and one thing i like about these uh camera monitor system is that uh, they give you an extra view of that whereas conventional I know lorries do get that anyway with mirrors but buses don't usually hmm. at least in Britain they don't usually um, and uh, I've actually been uh, I've seen such a uh, camera monitor system on, I've, I've seen mirror eyes on ADLs in reality that's when I went to Brighton I think in early December no sorry uh, February just not long before the lockdown in place uh, I went on some uh, some of the Enviro 400 ER that Brighton and Hove operates I think it's got auto stop start that's door activated which frankly I think is rather pointless on this route I mean you can save some fuel but then it it takes well first it takes energy to start an engine and then that means you've got to use your starter and um, and uh, that's going to wear wear your starter and of course your battery uh, quicker if you stop if, if you stop the engine and start it too often anyway uh, where was I yes I went to Brighton and Hove well I went to Brighton but I also went to Hove um, I went on such uh, buses equipped with mirror eyes they're, they're, they're actually hybrid so not quite easy but 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 it's the, um, the subject of conversation currently is the camera monitor system uh, I, I, I discover that the sky is usually overexposed and uh, yeah that's one of the problems secondly the the perspective you s the perspective of the viewing angle is much closer to the to the to the side of the vehicle then you get with mirrors and that also what then what you get with these on, on the, in the simulator which means that you don't see much of the side of your vehicle which is particularly problematic if you want to see the where the rear of your vehicle is uh, whereas the Mercedes ones stick out more but the one with the Mercedes mirror cam they only have one camera they just for the monitor they just show the whole view and then they show a cropped image which is on here the, the, the wide angle view is the whole thing and the non wide angle view is a is it doing kick down no it's not um, the not wide angle view is just a cropped image whereas on the on the mirror eye I can't remember the company that does it's not self riches is it I think it's something riches. I can't remember. But with a mirror eye you get the you get two cameras. I think it would be a good idea to have HDR but that's uh that's more so that the sky won't appear overexposed, but then that's more processing power required. 
which means that you need more sophisticated computer or you get a laggier image. Uh, one of the problems encountered Hello, with uh, camera monitor system is that you can't change the perspective. I mean, it is changing perspective in what? here, but in reality, it's not going to change. Is it changing? It's not quite, is it? Is it? You see, why do? Why does it? Why does the perspective change on this? It should not. It should always show the same image regarding. I mean, it doesn't have any head detection sensor. If they did, it probably wouldn't work well. I don't think it would do kick down. I mean, it will do it in first gear. But there's a voice D word. The first gear is not, it doesn't drive directly anyway. The first gear is completely. The first gear on the voice D word is completely hydraulic. It's, t it's basically the second gear. It, it's ba the first gear on the voice D word is basically when it's mechanically in second gear and it puts you through a torque converter. That's why it's called Dior. Differenz, differencia Wandler. Wandler, I can't remember the exact name. That is short for differencia Wandler, which means torque converter. It's only, it actually only gets three mechanical gears. Anyway, um, yeah, so the, those are, I, I, I think the, press the wrong button. The mirror eyes need a bit improvement in my opinion, that's what I will say. I mean, perhaps at least give the operators the options. Well, more options would be nice. Isn't it? They already have options whether to use camera monitor system or to use mirrors. The next bus I'm going to drive is going to have mirrors. Just to give a difference. You know, I'll probably press the one on this because I can't be bothered to reach the keyboard. Oh, by the way, uh, I actually did something wrong earlier. I released the handbrake before the before the before the door closed. The thing with uh, this bus is, I'm not sure if all varieties of Enviro 400 are like this or just particular ones. Um, if you release a handbrake before the door is completely closed, it, it will release a handbrake, but it won't enable the accelerator. So if you're on an uphill and you release a handbrake before the door is closed, it's not going to let you accelerate, but it's going to re physically release a handbrake so you will roll down. Right, please kick down. I think it's already in first gear. It's not, the, it's not tackling this hill well. A stupid omnibus. Why is this bleeding thing so fat? You've got, you've got sixty-seven hundred liters. No, sixty-seven hundred milliliters. Hi there. You see, only stop the engine for that that amount of time. Rather pointless, that is. Come on, get going. You see, the, the the one I drove earlier, it didn't have this before the video. That is, it didn't have such a problem, but that was a shorter. That one was shorter than this. I think there must be some problem with the software, it shouldn't do this. The Enviro 400 non-MMC in this game just goes. This can't be less powerful than that or heavier than that. So basically the power to mass ratio wouldn't be lower than this because it must be some problem with the software. Whoops. 
I thought I thought that bus was stopped again, so was I. Oh, I don't like lagging. It's still in first gear. And then it won't do kick down after. Oh, hang on. I think it's detecting its up gradient, which is why it kept in its gear. That's in third gear now. I shall be. Uh, the reason why I chose Cotterill, you may have realized that over. La, 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 la. I haven't actually done much uh, British maps at all. Um, but yeah. I have. I, I, I always pick this map uh, for vehicle testing because uh, it's no, well, not really testing, but well, I mean, sort of. Okay, uh, for to review or test or try out a vehicle, I always use this map because, frankly, many other British maps are just rubbish. Um, But this map uh, is okay, except the lag, of course. But you get you get lag you get lags on all maps. Um, um, I like that the route is relatively short, and well, which means that I can do the out and return. And also, I like that it's got hills. Well, that's just, maybe it's just maybe I'm just being weird. Um, it's got hills and. Um, So it can test out the hill climbing ability and of course it, it makes it a bit harder to drive. Which is always preferable for me. I don't even know why I've got waistcoat on, I'm feeling a bit hot now. Whoops. Stayed a bit too out. I've actually been waiting for uh, the Enviro 400 MMC to be released on OMSI for quite a while now, but actually for such a long time that I stopped waiting for the for it to be released because it's it's rather iconic. Except um, if I'm honest, I find that ADR has gone a little bit pathetic now. That's before uh, before. Uh, I was hoping this bus would come to OMSI before ADL started cooperating with BYD, which, in all honesty, um, I think it's a national disgrace because BYD is communist. I mean, it's not exactly, but it's state-sponsored. It, it can't, it can't not be state-sponsored. Which I, I don't really want to talk, go into too much details about uh, authoritarian dictatorship, but um, yep, that's something, something related to that. Anyway. Uh, I find that if you kick down on this one, it's a bit jerky, and usually when the gearbox is jerking a bit, I mean, when, when this when when it jerks, if a vehicle is jerking too much when it's changing gear, it's likely uh, on an automatic gearbox. It's likely that the programming is is done a bit unwell. It's likely that the programming isn't done well. The flips I get going, stupid omnibus. So because I, I've 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 driven and I've been on in reality, I've driven in simulator and I've been on on reality both vehicles equipped with uh, ZF Echo Life and Voice Diva and both of them are jerky on some vehicles and not so jerky on some other vehicles. 
And also, uh, re in reality, the the way a gearbox behaves is dependent on the algorithm, of course, it's because it's automatic. And, um, and such an uh, algorithm or program is usually done by the manufacturer. I have to put in 18 again with this irritating, now that's gone back to bus station, where I were on, on, blimey it's already half an hour, well uh, according to my camcorder, into the video, anyway. I reckon this is probably going to be a bit long. I changed back to my right foot. foot. Hang on, wrong. Wrong key. I mean, the brake sounds very realistic. And, and the indicator, of course. Hang on. And the engine is not shutting off now where it's supposed to. I think it's because the last time I restarted Hello, the engine mate. it was quite recent. I mean it's uh, a day rider please. Right, I'm gonna have to use my keyboard. Because I can't operate the TV Hello. machine on this. Weird. I have a flip say so stop lagging. How's this camera doing? Quite well, yeah. I hope, hang on, I haven't been keeping an eye on the level, really. Only just start, stopped the engine when I'm about to go. I think the air compressor also sounds rather realistic. I can't judge the, the engine sound because I haven't actually heard the engine sound from the driving cab's perspective in real life. I actually have this in outside. Oh, get going. It's lagged again. Oh, well, I don't remember. I think it's quite good. Oh well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. That's because all buses are the same, they're made of the exact same ingredients. Protons, neutrons and electrons. I think I'd better do with a bit of rain. Actually, oh, that's what I should do. I'll do the rain, because I like rain. And I haven't been doing rain in quite a long time. Uh, it's oh the the problem with lagging is that I always think it's uh please rider, please I'll do rider. the preset. How lovely! I've never you I've never driven this in the rain. So let me turn on the parking lamp. Uh, Alright, that should do. Should I turn on the passenger light so they can see? Don't these vehicles have automatic passenger lights in reality? Anyway. Thank you for giving way to me. I hope I flip so not lagged again. Oh yes, another benefit of having a camera monitor system is that when it's raining you can see it them more clearly. But that means you can't see the outside more clearly anyway, so... They don't, they don't collect rain on the monitors and not quite on their camera because it's got the, the shield thing.
Oh, for flip's sake, stop lagging, you stupid computer. I strictly comply, well, not really strictly, but I comply with the speed limit. But sometimes I get over, I, 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 sometimes I accidentally go slightly over it. One thing uh, about uh, mounting the near side monitor inside the cab is that in gameplay you can then see the near side um, near side monitor without having to change your perspective. I mean the move your head but I mean as a driver you should look in that direction anyway. Right, um, yeah, uh, you may have worked out that I uh, sort of, I have sort of run out of things to say and I actually didn't plan to say much anyway because I'm not lacked again. Uh, I'm planning to shut up for some of the parts because um, it's a little bit more observatory and um, I just want bits to be game sound only and not so much even though it's making that stupid water sound you know what because it's probably uh ah yeah something related to uh the thing i'd better Just turn that off so that it won't be. So that it won't have that water sound. So that you can hear more of the vehicle sound. Um. But I actually do like rain. Actually, my uh, I prefer cold weather compared to most other people who prefer warm weather and of course for me a cloudy day is always better than a sunny day and uh, ideally rainy day but I don't really like it when it's um, when it's occasionally raining especially when the occasional rain is a bit heavy especially because I like I like I like the rain so when it's raining I usually would like to go out we're using an umbrella of course it's my that's a bit far away, the front. And, um. Um. What was I thinking? But sometimes when I go out, well, not. So, only occasionally when I go out and, um. The. Uh, it's not yeah it's not raining and I don't bring an umbrella and then it rains I don't like that so I'd better I don't think I do that often anyway because I the reason why I don't think I do that often rather than I'm definitely sure that I do don't do that often is because it actually does not rain a lot in Britain Britain is statistically not a very rainy place that's one of the misconceptions Britain has and uh, most people think well even some even people living in Britain some of them think that Britain rains a lot whereas in fact that's not true um, that's mainly because um, 
Britain doesn't get a lot of sunny days either, but just because it's not sunny and it's dark does not mean it's raining. But then rainy days probably specifically annoy more people, so that's, that's probably it leaves a better impression on people than otherwise. But um, but for me, I do like rainy days, so it's it's very easy for me to conclude that Britain doesn't rain a lot. And also, uh, when I have a conversation with a, another person, usually regarding weather, it's usually rather awkward because when people say nice weather, I have to think, because for me, a nice weather would be a rainy day or a cold day of some sort. But to a normal person, it's opposite. So when people ask me, is the weather nice? And if it's raining or cold, I will say, yes, it is nice, but I like rainy weather. So when I say nice, I, I have to explain what I mean by nice. Because people can't accept diversity. Stupid. But I mean, not all people are like that. Many people are quite understandable. Understanding. I'll floor this thing here. Not lag, please. Whoopsie daisy, almost speeding. Actually, I think I'm already speeding by uh, probably over. This, I was probably over the speed limit by about. Has it just turned red? Oh well, the retarder has come on. Can hear the sound. Whoops! Please stop lagging, especially when I come to a stop. It's in the evening, which is why I'm not really drinking any tea. Although I've got a little bit left over from this morning. I was drinking some water. better get going a bit more quickly because um, this video is probably be taking a bit long but I did expect this video to be quite long as I'm going to drive to whoopsie daisy I'm go uh, I'm planning to drive two buses um, in this video I think the route is supposed to last for about 15 minutes on schedule of course so uh, I, I'll do I'll do it on two buses and each bus both ways so that's that will add up to an hour <laughs> lovely Quite a lovely bus, actually. Well, there are some problems that can be solved. Uh, I mean, in, I, th I, th I can't remember what I was going to talk about. 
There seemed to be some problem with the, the programming of this omnibus on the thing. Actually, I'll take my glasses off because I'm a little bit... I'll probably take my waistcoat off because I'm getting a bit hot. Oh. I mean, I shut the window and the thing the heating has come on and... Uh, and also the the lights are a bit hot, even though they're LEDs. Whoops, I think I'm blocking the way. Uh, yes, uh, so there are different versions of this omnibus uh, in this add-on, it just came out today. So, um, I... What am I thinking? Uh, this is one of what, the first time in a while that I do a, a new thing actually, as in soon after it came out. Uh, I've, I think I've done that for the Hafen City before and some other things but I, I haven't I, I don't actually do that that often because I I don't really look forward to new things these days um, well I do but I don't I not as much and I don't really follow things but it's it's only when my friend told me that uh, to do such a thing. Uh, told me about such a download and I thought, oh, I'd better do a video of that. Um, but I haven't been following things. So yeah, in the past, the new things I get, uh, they've all been... Uh, I either miss them by a few days, or... Hang on, I'm not there. Or I... Um, again. I either miss them by, well, I, I usually miss them by a few days so by which it's not really worth doing a video, doing a video to have it new but um, there's that and uh, flipping hell not again. That was a jerky stop again. Anyway, um, and then I use, well, I would usually hold on to those for for a later video rather than uh, rather than being one of the first to do it. Well, I mean, I don't really want to be. I'm not really rating to be one of the first, but I just think that it's nice to do something a bit new and possibly a bit exciting. I mean, I don't really find it that exciting. I do find it. Well, I, I I used to find new things exciting, but then I've gone through so many new things that it's less exciting now. I'm still excited but not as much. Not crazily excited and I think this omnibus shall... If I give you a push, yep, you will go on. Hang on, I forgot to put that in neutral and... I'll turn this thing off and it has now been turned off, right? That is the Enviro 400 MMC for you. Have I still got the lights on? Oh well, whatever. So I'm going to... Uh, come on, stupid computer. Unspawn that and I'm going to spawn the Scandia so I can drive it. How is my audio recorder doing? It's not peaking, is it? I mean, if it peaks a little bit, ah, uh, it just peaked again. If it peaks a little bit, it should be alright. Or peak or over, or... For those of you who don't do audio engineering, you probably have a single clue what I'm talking about. Or neither would people who don't do video engineering have a clue on what I'm talking about when I... Or when I say engineer, I mean probably also not so engineering part as well. Um, I'm going to drive. Hang on, I actually didn't realise the existence of these. 
Yeah, they're fixing their left-hand drive one. I hope they can make some Enviro 500 for a left-hand drive one. Anyway, um, I'll drive this one. Well, by default, all of uh, I think it's a bit loud. Hang on. Hang on, let me turn off the sound a bit. Turn it down. Oh, for flip's sake, keep going! There we go. Uh, by default, all of the omnibuses uh, on this pack have got... Uh, camera monitor system but they are programmed to have some uh, not camera monitor system I'm going to try um, uh, well these are the Lux 2 and 3 are the ones I I just copied the, the CTI file of the Lux changed the name and uh, put and modified only the type of mirrors they have is that uh, dependent on the repaint, or more specifically the configuration file? So I'm going to drive this one. Yeah, you can have a read uh, this. Lovely. So I'm going to drive on the exact same road. So it's not going. The scenario is not going to be exactly the same, but I'll drive on that route. And uh, I'm spawning with a. Uh, the preview shows me a white one, white skinned one, but when I drove it earlier, it showed me the other skin. The other repaint. I don't know what it will do this time. It's, it's, it's OMSI 2 is unpredictable. Interesting, it hasn't spawned the other one, which is good because I don't, I want white, I want it in white because I'm racist. Just kidding, I, I prefer the white one because it's rather blank. I mean, it wouldn't be nice if all buses were white, but for showing purpose of the omnibus, I prefer having it in white, or any vehicle to be specific because it's just like I mean when you put repaint on it's just a bit putting like an artwork and usually when you have an, a canvas or a piece of paper it's usually in white so there's that and this bus has got hello steering wheel there we go the key is down there if you can see and notice how the pedals are different oh why is there a water closet? Oh, I forgot to turn up the volume. Let me do that again. Right. Audio working. January 10th, 2020. Yes, audio working, except it never says anything. And uh, you can give me a kick. Uh, the you can you you may have noticed that the uh, tachometer is over here and the speedometer over here, and miles per hour is on the inside. How interesting! Even though to be specific, I think the reason they do that is because they they also make right hand drive for other markets like Singapore and Hong Kong, and Australia and New Zealand and. In fact, I can't think of anywhere else in the world that uses miles per hour apart from UK and the US. So, it's probably something to do with the English people colonizing the world. Which is probably why the, the English imperial system has been kept. Whereas the other imperial system, uh, they don't really use them anymore. For example, there's... um. I may be making this up, but I suppose somewhere there was a Spanish inch, a Spanish foot, or a German foot, or whatever. But anyway, let's go back to it. 
Uh, oh, hello. I think I need to press the brake. I'll just do it anyway to get into drive, and that, that, that just tells you you're in drive. It doesn't tell you. Hang on, handbrake is not act. It's not putting it in neutral. How stupid. Foot brake does put it in neutral. Handbrake doesn't. Is it because it's a Scania? It's a little bit continental Europe. Yes, in fact, in Britain, handbrake should apply, should put it in neutral. Because that's the only thing British buses have to stop the thing from rolling. Unlike German buses, which have Haltestellenbremse. I don't really favour anything, so don't. Don't take it as I prefer one. I just throw. Hang on, I am going to uni. Right, I'll give you a look outside. It's basically almost exactly the same. Hang on, I'll give you a look inside. Oh, yes. Uh, one of the things that sets Scania chassis and ADL chassis aside, despite having both, despite both having ADL body, is that uh, the Scania chassis, th there's a. It's got a bigger arse, and it has a, it, it, it. They don't come with a rear window, which is stupid. I'm still not very happy with British buses. Not hang on, is that? Oh, I was trying to see if that's the camera there, and then they just mounted that on the camera. Anyway, I'm I'm still not very happy with British buses, sacrificing the rear window of this, but not having aircon. Stupid. When I say British buses, I meant British double deckers, and I say British because they don't do that in New Zealand. They don't. No, not New Zealand. They have, yeah, New Zealand. They don't do that in Australia. They don't do that in Hong Kong. They don't do that in. Where else? Do, uh, Singapore. Even on the left-hand drive market or the right-hand traffic market, they don't do that with double deckers. They've got aircon. Oh, hang on, I already put myself onto a route, haven't I? Stupid. Um, oh, I'm already in try. Right, let's get going. This one has got traditional mirrors just to show you a bit of variety. And um, uh, I'm not sure if this problem still exists this time I spawned the bus. But last time I spawned this one, the exact one, with the same repay and the same length. Uh, oh, by the way, it does not come with a. The Scania one doesn't come with a voice gearbox. Anyway, um, I don't think a Volvo one does either. It do I, I don't mean the, Vol the Volvo chassis of this, it's, I mean the Volvo bus in real life. I don't think this one does come with a... Oh, there are Enviro 400s built on Volvo B5LH. I'm not sure about B5TL. Anyway, um, the last time I spawned this, the kickdown is very weird. Normally, you would, uh, you, normally if you push the... Is that the correct bay? Normally, if you push the accelerator gently, it won't activate kick down. But if you push it, if you floor it, it will activate kick down. It's not doing the. I'm hitting the curb, which is why my steering wheel is trying to. It's not activating the. Oh, hang on, the ticket machine's working. Day rider, right? That it usually shows one penny less on this map. I don't know why. Oh, is this free? Do I not need oh, to shut ticket? up. And uh, is uh, hang on twenty. That's uh, that no, that's fifty. Uh, four fifty and five. There you go. As the ticket machine works on this, so I can sell tickets. Uh, where was I? I can't remember where I was. Well, I, uh, normally, yes, the, the problem with this bus in the game. Normally, when you have uh, a kick down, it's usually activated when you push the accelerator all the way down. But on this one, it was the opposite way around when I tried it first. So I think it must be some computer error. I don't, I, don't suppose anyone would program that into the the algorithm. 
because you usually want to kick down you usually use kick down when you want to accelerate harder and that's usually and you, when you want to accelerate harder you usually push the pedal the the accelerating pedal all the way down the accelerator pedal um there's that is my thing still recording yes why does it make that sound Please stop lagging, you stupid game, especially when I come to stop because I'm trying very hard not to do a jerky stop. Oh yeah, it did kick down just now when I pushed the accelerator all the way down, so I think it should be working this time. Come on. I'll take it back. I'm not pressing it all the way down and it's kicking down. Yes, that's one of the problems. I'll, I'll press the accelerator all the way down when I get to the hill and show you what I mean. Earlier when I got out of bus station, I was pressing the accelerator more than I usually do, so I thought I pressed it all the way down. And now it's gone into the next gear. Oh well. I hope it will do kick down when I get on the hill bit and um, have the accelerator pedal down. Just need to keep an eye on my speed limit. That was an okay stop. Hmm. It's a rather long buzzer, I need to be careful with the steering. That's already at 20. I can't actually read a number, but I know that's 20 because I can read a kilometre. Well, I mean, I know that's, so I remember that position is 20 anyway, and it sort of looks like 20 to be honest. But I also know, I also remember some of the kilometre and miles conversion. Please change gear. Stupid omnibus. It was lagging, so I thought I was traveling slower than I was, and it turned out I wasn't. I think I said that quite a few times. Yeah, it happens in all. It, it that 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 bugs me off in all games, in all driving games, even the train. Ugh. Right, I'm going to do the kick down here, see how it does. Oh, it's actually kicking down now. But the last time, before I did a video, I, I did a test drive. Um, it would not... I don't know, it's, it's, I find it a bit inconsistent. It probably spawns the buzz in different... No, I'm only pressing a little bit and it's kicking down. Stupid bus. Stupid omnibus. Uh. 
I have a flip say get going this stupid computer have I got any person here I'll be careful with my mirror not to knock the thing Hello. A day rider, please. A day rider. There we go. Four pound twenty for forty for fifty five and another Thanks five. Very much. There we go. La, la, la. Oh, oh shit shit shit. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I did that again. Kicking up flooring the thing and it's not kicking down is it I pushed the accelerator all the way down and it's not doing kick down stupid omnibus yeah that's exactly the problem I described Yes, I'm having the accelerator all the way down now and it is not kicking down. How does that work? Well then again, to be honest, historically, I've been... I've been... Um, I think I should do more uh, first look videos of the basic... I think I should... Uh, flip say, what's wrong with it? I think I should... Anyone getting off? No. I think I should do more videos of games that just came out because that's when they're that's probably when they're the most buggy unlike in the old days they just don't the software these days are, are much buggier than they used to be anyway um, because in the old days you couldn't download software off the internet well you could but the large software you can then download off the internet because the internet were too slow was too slow back in the old days so you had to buy actual discs or some other media um physical media it's not it's digital media but on the physical copy so you actually had to go in the shop to buy that so if you release a software that's problematic then you have to record it and it's quite a lot of work whereas nowadays you just upload a patch or even the whole piece of software on the internet I mean, you don't really upload it on the internet you just have it unless you're unless you're you, unless you're not hosting your own server but anyway let's not go into details of that and I've actually missed some of the the bugginess of the Because I remember when the uh, when the hamburger, the not a hamburger hochbahn, what's it called? Would you like to kick down? When the Haven City first came out, there was a problem with uh, there was a bug with the uh, the B5 LH. Both I uh, think uh, no, hang on, it was only the rigid version. I, don't, I can't remember, that was a long while ago, that was before the channel revision. There was a problem with the... Um, the... the, the uh, um, I can't remember whether the articulated one had that problem, but the rigid one had. If you're driving it, as you're moving, and you press M, to, which will shut off everything... Uh, I'm doing this stress shift to indicate shutting off everything. Uh, and that would, uh, if you, if you're moving and shut off everything, it will let you th shut off. And, uh, and then it becomes very powerful, and then it becomes very powerful in terms of the battery power and, sorry, the electric motor, and it won't consume any battery. In fact, when you're doing that, you can press the accelerator, you could, you can't do that now to fix that. You could press the accelerator and it will accelerate without consuming any battery and when you press brake it will charge up the battery so 
Not just that, but they've obviously fixed that bug. Um, I remember when the first, when the next gen Scania, uh, the SNDR, uh, first came out. Flip second going. Came out on the ETS2. I didn't do a video immediately after that. That was still in beta testing, and uh, I I didn't do a video about them, which I somehow regrets. Uh, there was a bug that uh, the the front mirror will, will was not mirrored basically, and um, I actually wanted to do a video of that, but I kept procrastinating until I discovered that they fixed that bug already. I think there are probably some other bits of interesting and buggy things that I I've missed, so I, I should probably start doing a bit more. Um, videos of things that have just come out but then again I'm sort of trying to save a bit of money so usually if I think something is a bit expensive I will usually leave it sometimes probably not but sometimes I leave it to um, until I get a chance to get it on sale It, it, it can't do this in real life. When I'm pressing a little bit of accelerator, it's kicking down. When I'm flooring it, it's not. How logical is that? That van turning right. I mean, I need that space. Cause... You, why? What the hell did you just do there? You should go after me. Oh, in reality, there isn't that bay I discovered. It would just be a rather large cutting corner because buses need to make a turn here. Because there's a, a thing, there's an actual bus route that goes between the bath bus station and the University of Bath. Right, I'm flooring it. And it's refusing to. Hang on. I need to slow down here. Did it someone press the stop bell? Oh. Oh well. I've noticed this thing, which is a bit funny. I don't... I haven't observed that in reality. Maybe I'm just missing it. It's very painful to drive this thing because it kicks down when you don't want it to. Stupid buzz. The reason is it's more jerky when it's changing gear in kick down. That's the case with all omnibuses. Or all vehicles, I shall say. Hang on, 15, speeding, speeding, give it a break. change the desk sign can't I just oh yeah I can I don't have to put it in again ha 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 lovely let's have a look on the outside I mean it's U18 but you can't put in U in that thing and one thing I don't like about um I don't like one thing I don't like about when there's a vi or something is that when the, when, when the route has gone past that, it still says VIA. So, I mean, if you say VIA, figure out some way for you to not say VIA place when you've gone past that place on that route so it doesn't confuse people. That's, that's just personal opinion. Because I, um, I, I, I think I almost made that mistake. 
recently. Uh, right, I'm changing leg. Well, that oh flipping hell, I hit start, didn't I? I know, I think that's in focus. Lastly, um, when I change leg, uh, I, I have to be very careful because I don't want my right leg to block the camera view. I'll put it over there, can't I? Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I mean, I can. I'm gonna get going because this video is getting rather long. Resting my leg up here is a bit irritating, but oh well. That gives me a chance. Actually, I should rest my other leg up there oh, yeah. when I'm driving with my right leg. So I can stretch both of my legs. Not at the same time, but just get a, bit, a little bit more evenly. Let me move that closer. Hopefully, that didn't hit the thing. Ugh. I really should get out of the habit of releasing the handbrake before the door closes. I usually do that on many other omnibuses because you can. <laughs> well, on this one, I just don't like it that it physically releases the handbrake. Oh, I haven't, I haven't gathered whether the Scania does that, but the Enviro 400, no, the E40 D chassis, that one does. Um, it's just annoying when they're doing that and it's just annoying when they're when they physically releases hang on I'm pushing my chair back <laughs> when it's physically releasing the handbrake but not letting you apply the accelerator also if you let it coast down here it will go to into the red zone so that's not very good and also, from what I've gathered, most buses in Britain, it won't go up a gear unless you use the accelerator. Which is good, because you sometimes want to use some form of engine braking. I hope I, I, hope I haven't peaked my recorder too <laughs> much. Rider, mate. Day rider is what you want. Day rider there. Yeah, is this still using the old currency? The currency is just, this thing isn't, but the currency Unless that you're one. Giving no, out hang cash on. back. You've given me too much change. Hello. There we go. Uh, the the this the money here. Wait, is mate, how much do you is fancy that? give me the rest of my change? Oh, shut shut your ass. Uh, Lovely. This, this thing displaying here is dependent on the map. These aren't. One day rider, please. There's no 10p no, on this thing. Is there? That's not 10p. Uh, 30, 50, 5, and 10. Lovely. I think my omnibus is being funny. Yes, another benefit of um, having the monitor mounted inside that you can, you don't have to turn your head too much to look between the two. In fact, you probably don't have to turn your head at all. Oh yes, one thing I should mention is that the refresh rate of the camera monitor in the game is very low. But then the refresh rate of mirrors in this game is also very low, so it doesn't really matter. You can tell. 
I mean, if this has a reflection to full, then it will be much laggier than this. So that, that that's even that's even more painful to drive. Oh, flipping hell, speeding. I think the reason why the camera monitor system changes perspective is because they use the same pro algorithm. They use the same programming for the mirror in in the game. And because you see, when you change your angle there, it changes in the mirror. I think that's how why it changes in the. Well, that's my guess. I mean, you can use the same uh, programming. Just copy and paste. It's not, it's not as simple as copying and paste, but you get the idea. Hmm. Right, this video is actually getting rather long, so but but then it's the the last journey now, so that should be good. Should I turn on the rain again? Yeah, I should do the rain. You've heard of enough of the sound of the vehicle I'll do with a bit of rain because rain is good I'll do this hang on I'd better turn on some lights hi stupid laggy game there better better turn on the wipers it's the same, it's the same wipe, it's got the same body. I'm not even kicking down. Well, I mean, I don't even want it to kick down now. Yeah, that's a weird thing on this. I think it, this must be a bug. I don't think any manufacturer would make it like that in would make it like that in real life. Whoopsie Daisy, you're not getting on, are you? Do you want to get on? No, you don't. I'll do. I really don't want to do a, a, a jerky stop, but the game the game keeps lagging when it's stopping, when I come to a stop. And actually, it's lagged a lot of times. Uh, that's why it's, it, it's just, I just struggle to... I mean, you can't... I oh, shut up, stupid thing. That beep sound tells me I'm doing something wrong. In this case, uh, the engine is going too fast. It's up there. Which is inconvenient because you can't see it down there. Not many drivers drive with their head looking up, do they? That was a bit braking too hard, that one. That was an okay stop. I try not to do a jerky stop. Because I try not to do jerky anything. I'll just let it coast down here. I probably need to give you a push of the accelerator. The thing is, normally you would give you a push of the accelerator. Bleeding hell. Gone into a red zone, hasn't it? You would give it a push of the accelerator because it wanted to go up a gear. But in this case, if you give it a little push of the accelerator, it activates kick down because it's stupid. And if you give it a lot of push of the accelerator whilst going downhill, then you, you go over the speed limit. 
stupid game. Please stop lagging. Why is it always lagging? Hello. Actually, that's quite powerful. There we go. Finally, someone pressed the stop bell. Ah! Right, nearly to the end. I think I must have forgotten to say something. <laughs> the last time I did the omnibus driving video uh, in Hamburg, I forgot to, to say the thing about the closure of the uh, depot. So I, I added that in the description. After stop lagging, stupid game. I tend to forget more things when it's lagging because it's making me furious and shifting my um, focus onto uh, cursing at the game. Let's see, I'll do a kick down here. I mean, uh, uh, flooring. Because. Normally, when I say I do a kick down, I mean um, what I mean is I'll, I'll either put it in manual and do a kick down, or uh, or I'll, I'll push I'll push the accelerator pedal all the way down, because that's how you normally do kick down. But yeah, this is weird. Right, I think this is getting rather long and my battery on my fat camcorder is getting down quite a lot. I hope it's got enough battery to keep up. Probably will do. Hang on, I think I just realised that my head has been all over the places in this, in this shot, so that's probably going to be a little bit problematic. Let me put my glasses back on. Haha, -ha, perfect turn. I'll probably hit something on the near side anyway. Ah, uh, stop lagging and you know, give you a push. Stupid game. Whoops. Slow down. Hang on, did someone press the stop bell? No, it's not showing up on my dashboard. This is going to be a little bit challenging. So it's rather long, hang on. Yeah. Uh. 
Shut up! Oh, for flip say I'm speeding. Forgot my speed limit. Right, uh, we're coming to the end of such a video. It's rather long because it's rather long. I usually, usually, if it, it takes, I reckon that it usually would take about fifteen minutes more than the root length when I do such a video. Perhaps more than that. I mean, that's about right, about one and a half hours of 50, and I've done two of the buses, so that's should be 30 minutes more than the route length, and the route length will add up to an hour. It's got four runs, four, four journeys. So that's about right. I'll stuff it. And plus some lagging time, that is. Yep, that is here. We're here, lovely. Oh, hang on, I forgot to turn on the door. Did I say turn on the doors? I mean, open the doors. Engage the um, electric circuit. Um, so I'll have that there. I don't know how to turn the keys. There we go. That's the keys turned. Right, that's... Um, Hang on, let me just turn the bleeding. Right, that is the end of the... Ah, uh, let's say not lagged again. Right, that that is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Good night. <laughs> Omnibus, 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 Omnib